walk down. Okay. That's almost all the video. Jamie's kind of Jamie's coming late as ever. No, no surprise here. Mr. Smith, I present to you the graduating class of Hansi's Rural High 2019. Prior to the singing of O Canada, I would like to acknowledge that Hansi East Rural High is located in Midmaggi, the ancestral and unceded territory of the Mi'kmaq. We are all treaty people. Our O Canada today is going to be sung by Melanie Shinoska, one of our staff members, and it's she does it in three languages. The first verse is in English, followed by French, and she concludes in Mi'kmaq. Several of our graduates know it, so hopefully they will sing through the whole thing. You are welcome to sing along with whatever part of the language you know. Here's Melanie. Oh, Canada, our home and native land, true page. 
country love in all of us command car ton bras c'est pour télé paye il s'est porté la croix ton histoire est une épopée des plus brillants exploits qui jouent pour l'île en gauche Kabouch qui doux Oganada Melki Galou Please be seated. Good afternoon. In the spirit of our national anthem, welcome, bienvenue, jalasi to family, friends, staff, dignitaries, presenters, and especially the class of 2019 to this year's graduation ceremony. It's a celebration of the hard work and commitment of all of these students and everyone who has supported them through their journey to graduation. We have some greetings from platform guests, and we begin with Gary Adams, who is the Regional Executive Director of Education for CCRCE. Good afternoon. It's certainly my pleasure to join you all for this graduation ceremony today. To each of the graduating students, I offer my sincere congratulations on behalf of the Chignecto Central Regional Center for Education. And perhaps the greatest gift I can offer to today's grads is a promise that I won't speak too long. After all, this is your day, and you certainly deserve it. This is an accomplishment you have worked towards for at least 13 years now an accomplishment that you, your parents, guardians, family and friends are very proud of, and an accomplishment and moment in time that I hope you will always remember. I'm sure, too, that the staff is very proud of you. They have invested a great deal of their time, expertise, and care to helping you realize success. I hope your years in elementary, junior, and high school have been positive and memorable. You may look back and laugh at old memories, or be glad that some of them are behind you. But hopefully you'll smile when you think of the people, your classmates, the teachers and staff who spent so much time with you on this journey. And the journey's far from over. It's actually just beginning. Now you're about to embark on the rest of your life to realize your dreams and desires, whatever they may be. There will be many surprises ahead. Embrace them. Don't feel like you need to have everything planned right now. Relax, that's not possible. But it is exciting to know that the possibilities are endless. Seize this opportunity, trust that we're all very proud of you, and know that you will do wonderful things. I wish you all the very best of luck. Congratulations. Bringing greetings from Nova family, Charlene Whelan, our family of school supervisor. I extend a warm welcome to all teachers, staff, parents, guardians, families, and of course, to our graduating students, the class of 2019 for Hans East Rural High School. We are here this afternoon to honor you and to celebrate you. We're here to acknowledge your big achievement. You're graduating from high school, and this is kind of a big deal. You arrived here after a 13-year school career with us, and most of you started in our elementary schools in Enfield, Elmsdale, Maple Ridge, Shubenacadie, then Riverside. And you've had years together learning and growing and developing and accomplishing, thriving, and sometimes just plain surviving to get where you are to be the educated individual you are today. And we know this was not always an easy journey, 
and we recognize that we all have differences and strengths and talents and behaviors that make us the unique people that we are. And over the years, we all have ups and downs and good times and some not so good times. And we learn from each and every one of these and we keep on keeping on and we try our best and we try something new and we tackle problems and then we celebrate our successes. And today we honor you and your success. We hope as you walk away from high school that you look back at your time in school and you smile and you think about the good times and the memories and the friends you've made along the way and your accomplishments and your journey. And we also hope as you walk away from high school that you look forward, that you look forward to the future. You look forward to all the possibilities that lay ahead of you. We hope you reach your potential. We hope you further your education. We hope you travel the world, be a great employee in the world of work and be a good citizen who contributes to our world in a positive way and go follow paths that will lead you on an exciting journey in that great big adult world out there. So go out and embrace challenges, embrace new experiences, embrace life and embrace change. And life will change as you know it. Friends will move off in different directions and you'll make choices and plans that will take you different places. And graduation can be an emotional time for some. Now we all know Dr. Seuss and he was great with rhyme but he was also an insightful man and he very simply said, don't cry because it's over, smile because it happened. And may you now smile and thank your teachers and your school, your parents, your guardians, your friends and your family for supporting you along the way. And we hope that they're there to continue supporting you on the next leg of your journey. So to the graduates of Hans East World High, class of 2019, may you always be true to yourself. May you follow your dreams. May you keep an open mind and not let your first thought be your last. May you always see the good in others and see the good in yourself. And may you continue to learn and grow and reach for the stars, and you can never aim too high. Congratulations, thank you, and enjoy your special day. With greetings from the provincial government, our MLA, Margaret Miller. Thank you so much, and how wonderful, <clears throat> excuse me, it is to be here tonight. So grads, parents, teachers, and dignitaries. It's my pleasure to be with you on uh, behalf of the Nova Scotia government, and I want to say a special congratulations to all the, the uh, graduates from Hans East Rural High. Today is the day that you and your families have been waiting for a long time. It's the end of a very important part of your life and the beginning of a whole new world of experiences. Whether your choice is university, community college, or the workforce, it's the next step on your next journey of life. So as you celebrate uh, graduation from high school today, I hope that you wear this accomplishment with pride. I hope uh, it's taken a great deal of hard work and dedication to reach this point, and this achievement deserves significant uh, recognition. It is a big deal. So I hope that you'll cherish your friends and the memories that you've made in the last 13 years. You'll always remember those special people who shared in your joys, your tears, your accomplishments, and sometimes even your worst embarrassments. They are a part of you and they'll never let you forget it. So you'll remember tonight for the rest of your life and for many of you tomorrow, the, after the party and after this week, the question will be, what do I do now? So I'd like to share just a few of the things that I've learned with you over the years. The first one is that whatever you decide today is not going to be it for you the rest of your life. You may have wonderful plans for your future, but chances are that life will get in the way and your path may change. So don't be afraid of that change. Embrace it and enjoy the journey. Next, you'll learn from everything you do. And I think all of us on the stage would agree with that. Everything that we've done in life, bring, we bring to that table. And you learn from every part of your life. Don't always follow the money. Your parents will not agree with that one sometimes. But uh, money may make the journey a little easier. But a career that makes you feel needed will always make your life happier. When you help others, you help yourself. And this may be as a community volunteer or in your career if you're very, if you're very uh, fortunate. And I can't stress enough about volunteering. 
you know, in all the times that I have volunteered, I always tend to give back more than you give, or at least you feel you do, because it means so much. Sometimes life has some challenges, so you have to learn to make lemonade from the lemons in life. Good or bad, everything that happens to you will have a lesson or have a positive, so find it and make yours. Smile a lot. Never stop learning. I don't think we ever stop learning. Read, spend more time listening than talking. It's a politician telling you that, that's bad. But take on the new challenges and expand your mind. There are no limits to life. There's not been a time in our history that has had so much promise. I know people can be very negative about the future, but I think it's exactly opposite. You just have to be willing to work hard for it. So do more than people expect of you. Live life with no regrets. Life is too short. Just ask your parents or your grandparents who are here with you. Just a few years ago, you were in their shoes, and at the end of the day, you will not regret the things that you did, but you'll regret the things you didn't have the courage to do. Remember to stay in touch with your friends and family. In the end, it's the only thing that counts, and your family needs your support, even though sometimes you may be right across the country in the way. So, and lastly, make a difference. At the end of your days, it won't matter if you needed a U-Haul to carry your cash. In the end, it will only matter that your life made a difference in this world, that you changed things, and that you made the world a better place. This world is a fabulous place with all of you in it, and it's waiting for you. Congratulations, graduates. With highlights from this school year, our principal, Mike Smith. <clears throat> Creating amazing door artwork for Stand Up, Speak Out. Building a new scoreboard for the soccer and rugby field. Work experience with Foodland through Autism Nova Scotia and loving it. Participating in Encounters with Canada. Winning Senior Boys Wrestling Championships. Girls Basketball completed an incredible season, winning both regional and provincial titles as the first time in 25 years. 23 students, three teachers traveled on the school trip to Ireland, Scotland, England, and France during March break. As a principal, I receive a lot of emails. But the one I received from the coach of Cold Harbor High after our boys went 4-0 to win the provincial championships made me especially proud. I'm just going to read a little tiny bit of it. Even more impressive to me was their sportsmanship. Some teams are poor sports and some are good sports, but Hansies were in a class above and beyond that. Rugby's a physical game where you want to knock your opponents down. But after they did that, Hans East would reach a hand down and help my boys back up. There were smiles and handshakes and pats on the back nonstop throughout the game. In a world where our youth are regularly criticized for their poor behavior, we must speak up when their exceptional sportsmanship and humanity goes above and beyond. I suggest that this starts with exceptional leadership from your athletics department, the coaching staff, and a further extension to parents and the rugby community. Track and field had nine athletes move on to provincials. Outstanding athletes made huge accomplishments in their sports such as making Team Canada, Team NS for Canada Games, junior hockey drafts, and top male athlete in the under 15 canoe for the Atlantic Division. Bruce Fisher and Marilyn Jamison retiring. Boys hockey won Div 2 at the annual Moncton Classic. Do you know half a dozen grads from 1960s came into the school one afternoon and we toured them around. 1960s, 60 years ago, people graduated from your school and they came back to hang around. So I'll see you in 60 years. <laughs> I'll be long gone. I'm old as dirt, but <laughs> you will be here. You will be here. 
overcoming incredible obstacles and just refusing to quit, doing everything you can to walk this stage. Having your own multimedia business at 18 years old, winning the Vernon Monroe and APSI Cooperative Educational Award, participating in National Science Fair two years in a row, a superior group of teachers and staff, 18 students taking the Diplôme d'Etudes en Langue Francaise, and finally, somebody's laughing at my French. That's hurtful. That is hurtful. You work in my office. She will pay. She will pay. <laughs> and finally, winning Pegasus Award for Outstanding School Spirit and Citizenship. No matter where you go or what you do, you will always be Tigers. Hans East Rural High Tigers. Go get them, Tigers. The world is yours for the taking. It wasn't me you heard laughing. <laughs> the moment you've all been waiting for. We're going to start the presentation of diplomas and awards. Along with announcing the graduates and any awards the graduate may have received, I will be indicating when a graduate has received honors or honors with distinction. Honors are calculated based on the six highest courses. The student must have an average of 80 or greater with no mark below 75 in the courses used for this calculation. For the remaining courses, they will have no mark below 50. All courses must be taken in the current year. Honors with distinction are calculated based on the six highest academic or advanced courses. The student must have an average of 85 or greater with no mark below 80 in the courses used for the calculation. For the remaining courses, they will have no mark below 50. All courses must be taken in the current year. Ready when you are. Julie Abbott. <laughs> Honors with distinction, French immersion. Julie will be taking pre-veterinary medicine at the Dalhousie Agricultural Campus. She's receiving a general entrance scholarship worth $3,000 from Marilyn Jameson and a residence scholarship worth $6,000 presented by Amy Jo Camo. <laughs> Leslie Anderson, honors with distinction. Leslie's going to St. Mary's University in the Commerce Program, and she's receiving an entrance scholarship of $8,000 presented by Talia Shams. <laughs> Olivia Armsworthy, honors with distinction. <laughs> Olivia is going to be attending St. Francis Xavier University in the Bachelor of Arts Program. She's receiving an entrance scholarship of $5,000, presented by Lucas Middleton, and a personal achievement award of $100, presented by M Margaret Mayer. <laughs> Joel Arsenault. Yeah. Joel's going to be an industrial mechanic at NSCC. Mackenzie Ashford. Mackenzie is going to be joining the Armed Forces and he's receiving the Nova Scotia Highlanders Award presented by Matt Cohen. Emily Baltzer, honors. Emily is going to become an early childhood educator. She's attending Jane Norman College. She's receiving the Nine Mile River Community Center Bursary of $100 presented by Leonard Noble. The Bill Brown Memorial Bursary from Shaw Resources of $500 presented by Charlene Singer. And the Elmwood 
Child Care Bursary of $100, presented by Bruce Fisher. <laughs> Sheldon Barr. <laughs> Sheldon will be joining the workforce. Bernard Barter, French Immersion. <laughs> BJ's going to study IT systems and management at NSCC. He's receiving the Chris Myers Memorial Bursary of $500, presented by Crystal Christensen. The Life Touch Bursary of $500, presented by Nancy Zwagsta. Stra? Montgomery Branch 113 Poppy Trust Fund Bursary of $500, presented by Comrade Jed Hare. Grace Best, honors. Grace is going to NSCC in the Business Administration Program. Michaela Bianchi. Michaela is going to become a paramedic and she's attending Holland College. Keisha Biggin, French Immersion, honors with distinction. Keisha is going to study biology at Mount St. Vincent University. She's receiving a $20,000 entrance scholarship presented by Abby McLeod. A Royal Canadian Legion Nova Scotia None of It Command Bursary of $500. The Port of Halifax Scholarship of $500 presented by Stephanie Dean Moore. The Legion Scholarship is presented by Susan Smith. And the International Longshoremen Association Scholarship of $2,500, presented by Matt Cohen. <laughs> Emma Boone, honors with distinction. <laughs> Emma is going to Dalhousie University in the Bachelor of Science in Neuroscience program. She's receiving a general entrance scholarship of $2,000 presented by Natalie Horn, an entrance math scholarship of $450 presented by Bruce Fisher, and a Montgomery Branch 133 Poppy Trust Fund Bursary of $500 presented by Comrade Jed Hare. <laughs> A.J. Bowser. AJ is going to travel for a year, and then he's enrolling in the um, sorry Moncton Flight College. <laughs> Connor Boyd. <laughs> Connor will be completing his apprenticeship next year. Andrew Brown. Andrew is going to study business administration at Acadia University. Picture. Isaac Buckler. <laughs> Isaac's going to be a heavy duty mechanic at NSCC. <laughs> if he ever gets his picture done. Thank you, Isaac. Ariana Burden, honors with distinction, French immersion. <laughs> Ariana is completing, going to complete a Bachelor of Science in Mathematics at Acadia University. She's receiving a Nova Scotia Equestrian Federation Youth Bursary of $500, presented by Lexi Yearling, and an entrance scholarship worth $16,450, presented by Danielle Poirier. Riley Burnett, honors with distinction, French immersion. <laughs> Riley's going to complete a Bachelor of Arts in Psychology at Acadia University. She's receiving an Enfield Volunteer Fire Department bursary of $500, presented by Amy Jo Camo, and an entrance scholarship worth $10,100, presented by Danielle Poirier. Mackenzie Butler. 
Mackenzie's going to go to St. Mary's University in Bachelor of Science in Biology program. She's receiving an entrance scholarship of $3,000 presented by Matt Cohen and a jazz scholarship worth $1,000 presented by Stephanie Dean Moore. <laughs> Joanna Campbell, French Immersion. <laughs> Joanna is going to study Business Administration at St. Francis Xavier University. She's receiving the Perry R. Giffen Memorial Bursary of $750 presented by Sherry Kroll and the 2018-19 Ambassador of the Nova Scotia International Student Program presented by Nanuki Horn. <laughs> Oliver Carter. Just a brief explanation for any of you who don't understand what just happened. Oliver was unable to attend last year, and we are unbelievably delighted to have him graduate a year late. <laughs> Jacob Chason. Jacob's going to study architectural drafting at the NSCC Ivany campus. Emily Chowder, honors with distinction. <laughs> Emily's going to be studying a Bachelor of Science at Dalhousie University. She's receiving a Guardian Pharmacy Health and Wellness Bursary of $500, presented by Trevor Camo. A Lions Memorial Bursary from Shuby Milford Enfield of $1,200, presented by Leah Forrester. 2018-19 Ambassador of the Nova Scotia International Student Program, Award presented by Natalie Horn. 2019 Schulich Leader Nominee Award presented by Bruce Fisher. And the Lockwood Memorial Scholarship worth $16,000 presented by Donnie Guthrow. <laughs> Michael Clark. Michael's going to NSCC to become a welder. Aylin <laughs> Clough. Aylin's going to complete a Bachelor of Arts with Sociology at Mount Allison University. She is receiving a $4,000 entrance scholarship presented by Amy Jo Camo, a Dr. James T. Snow bursary of $1,000 presented by Counselor Stephen King, and an HERH Student Council Bursary of $100 presented by Rachel DeVries. <laughs> Emma Camo, Honors with Distinction. <laughs> Emma's going to be studying biology at Acadia University. She's receiving an entrance residence scholarship worth $7,500 presented by Danielle Poirier and a scholar bursary presented by, of $16,000 presented by Danielle Poirier. <laughs> Aliyah Shinoska, French Immersion. <laughs> Honors with distinction. Ali is undecided yet about what she wants to do with her multiple talents. <laughs> Joshua Curlew. <laughs> Josh is also trying to decide what he wants to do next year. <laughs> Mackenzie Cutler. Mackenzie plans to be a weapons technician with the Canadian Army. Adrian Daly Fernet. Adrian, 
Adrian's going to study IT systems management at NSCC. Christy Davis, French Immersion. <laughs> Christy's going to attend NSCC in the Mechanical and Avionics program. Reagan Dexter. Reagan's going to go to Eastern College to become an interior decorator. Kyle Dixon. <laughs> Kyle's going to go to Acadia University in the Certificate in Applied Science program. He's receiving a general entrance scholarship of $3,500 presented by Daniel Poirier and a Chronicle Herald bursary of $750 presented by Matt Cohen. <laughs> Trent Dixon. Trent is going to explore his options. <laughs> Min Don. <laughs> Min will be studying mechanical engineering at NSCC. <laughs> Kateri Dory. Kateri is going to be in the DFO Officer Training Program. She's receiving an Indian Brook Achievement Award of $500 presented by Chief Michael Sack, Sabaganagati High Achievement Award presented by Chief Michael Sack, and the Sweet Rewards from the Sweet Spot Award of $250 presented by Kareem Knox. <laughs> Tyler Dove. Tyler is joining the workforce. <laughs> Megan Drake, honors, French immersion. <laughs> Megan's going to Mount St. Vincent in the Bachelor of Science program. <laughs> Hope Edmond, honors with distinction. Hope's going to study political science at Mount Allison University. She's receiving an entrance scholarship of $16,000 presented by Trevor Camo, Herbert S. Scholarship of $8,000 presented by Chris Stockdale, entrance, burs entrance bursary of $1,500 presented by Bruce Fisher, uh, Hansi's Chamber of Commerce Award of $500, HRH Student Council bursary of $200 presented by Rachel DeVries, a King's Hans Liberal Association bursary of $300 presented by Cody Blois, and a Royal Canadian Legion Nova Scotia None of It Command bursary of $500 presented by Comrade Jed Hare. <laughs> Hannah Eldridge. Hannah is going to NSCC in the Dental Assistant Program. Tyson Elliott. Tyson's going to NSCC Cape Breton in Mechanics. Emily Evans. Emily plans to study child services in the future, and in the meantime, she's going into the workforce. <laughs> Rebecca Findel Sherry, honors, French immersion. <laughs> Rebecca is going to the NSCC Truro campus in business administration. She is receiving the sweet rewards from the Sweet Spot Award of $250 <laughs> presented by her father. Felicia Ferguson. Congratulations. 
Felicia is going to the University of Ottawa in the Honors Bachelor of Health Sciences program. She is receiving an admission scholarship of $2,000 presented by Natalie Horn. An East Hance Liberal Association bursary of $200 presented by Margaret Miller. A Red Maple bursary award of $200 presented by Bruce Fisher. 2018-19 Ambassador of the Nova Scotia International Student Program Award presented by Bruce Fisher. A University of Ottawa Educational Bursary of $4,000 presented by Matt Cohen. And finally, a Merit Scholarship worth $28,000 presented by Trevor Camo. Janisha Fleming. Janisha is going to study Applied Media and Communications at NSCC. Caden Flynn, honors with distinction. Caden's going to study Political Science at St. Mary's University. He's receiving an entrance scholarship worth $4,000 presented by Talia Shams, a Loran scholarship of $2,000 presented by Lexi Yearling, Nova Scotia League of Equal Opportunity Award worth $2,000 presented by Sherry Kroll, and a Nova Scotia Disability Student Bursary of $2,000 presented by Chris Stockdale. <laughs> Dawson Foster, honors. Dawson's going to study automotive service and repair at NSCC. <laughs> Donovan George, honors. <laughs> Donovan's going to St. Mary's University in the Commerce Program. He is receiving an entrance scholarship worth $4,000, presented by Talia Shams. Gavin Gilmore. <laughs> Gavin loves us so much he's coming back for another year. <laughs> Liam Gugu. <laughs> Liam is going to study welding at NSCC. He's receiving an Indian Brook Achievement Award of $500 presented by Chief Michael Sack. <laughs> Mackenzie Gosby. <laughs> Mackenzie's headed to Acadia University in the Bachelor of Science in Biology program. She's receiving an entrance scholarship of $5,500 presented by Daniel Poirier. <laughs> Adam Guthro, French Immersion. Adam's going to study business at the University of New Brunswick. Rachel Groves, Honors. Rachel's going to study psychology at Acadia University. She's receiving an entrance scholarship of $6,500 presented by Danielle Poirier. Adam Guthrow, French Immersion. Oh, no? Oh, I'm sorry. I already did that. Abigail here. <laughs> Honors. I did promise the graduates I would mess this up at some point. Abigail is receiving, is going to Acadia University in the Bachelor of Science program with major in biology. She's receiving the Montgomery branch. 133 Poppy Fund Trust Fund Award of $500, presented by Comrade Jed Hare. <laughs> and the Serenity Lodge Bursary of $100, presented by Amy Jo Camo. <laughs> Raymond Hazel.
Raymond's going to study forestry at the University of New Brunswick, and he's receiving the Glacier Bursary of $125, presented by Bruce Fisher. <laughs> Taylor Ann Hines. <laughs> Taylor's going to go to Acadia University in the Women and Gender Studies program. Jacob Horn, honors with distinction. You, Jacob. Jacob is going to Dalhousie University in the Bachelor of Engineering program. He's receiving an entrance scholarship of $3,000 presented by Leah Forrester. <laughs> Emma Hughes, honors with distinction. Emma's going to Acadia University in the Bachelor of Science and Biology program. She's receiving an entrance scholarship of $5,500, presented by Danielle Poirier. <laughs> Olivia Hirschman. <laughs> Olivia plans to become a primary care paramedic through Medivy Health Education. She is receiving the East Hance Crime Prevention Bursary of $500 presented by Rachel DeVries. <laughs> ben Eisner. <laughs> ben will be studying electrical construction at King's Tech. <laughs> Madison Eisner. Madison's going to study business management with a dairy specialty at Dalhousie University. Morgan Ivey, honors. Morgan is going to go to the Canadian College of Massage and Hydrotherapy to become a massage therapist. She is receiving the Lance Fire Department Bursary of $500 presented by Fire Chief Glenn Paul. Connor Jensen. <laughs> Connor's going into the engineering program at Dalhousie University. Nathan Johnston. Nathan's going to NSCC to become an industrial mechanic or millwright. Haley Joseph. <laughs> Haley's going to complete a Bachelor of Science at St. Mary's University, and she's receiving an entrance scholarship of $4,000 presented by Tala Shams. <laughs> Liam Kidney. Liam's going to continue playing hockey with the Screaming Eagles, and he'll be attending Cape Breton University. Bradley Landers. Bradley's going to study aircraft maintenance at NSCC. Nathan Landry. Nathan's going to study criminology at St. Mary's University. He's receiving a Sabaganagati Achievement Award of $500 presented by Chief Michael Sack, a Life Touch Bursary of $500 presented by Nancy Zagstra, and the Chief John Knockwood Memorial Award of $300 presented by Stuart Knockwood. <laughs> Braden Langell. Braden's going to study business at NSCC. Grace Lays. Grace is going to Dalhousie University in the Bachelor of Arts program to study law and justice. 
She's receiving an entrance scholarship of $3,000 presented by Lexi Yearling, an entrance community and leadership award of $1,000 presented by Sherry Kroll, and a Montgomery Branch 133 Poppy Trust Fund bursary of $500 presented by Comrade Jed Hare. <laughs> Mina Lee. <laughs> Mina is going to go to Dalhousie University as a commerce major. <laughs> Caitlin LaFriends. Caitlin's going to take a Bachelor of Arts degree at Dalhousie University, and she's receiving an entrance scholarship of $750, presented by Donnie Guthrow. Mm -hmm. Emily Legg, honors. Mm -hmm. Emily's going to St. FX in the Bachelor of Science in Human Kinetics program. She's receiving a Royal LePage bursary of $500, presented by Tim Eisner. Marcus Little, honors with distinction. Marcus is going to NSCC as an IT generalist. Matthew Low King. Matt's going to take a year off and then attend university. He's receiving a personal achievement award of $100 presented by Margaret Meyer. Hannah Lynch, Integrated French. Hey, Hannah is undecided about next year and what her plans will be for education. Cody McDonnell. Cody. Cody hasn't made up his mind either. Jordan Macy. Jordan's going to study 2D and 3D animation at the Maritime Business College. <laughs> Marilyn McIntyre. <laughs> Marilyn's going to the Academy of Cosmetology to become a makeup artist. <laughs> Maya Mackey Beaner, honors with distinction. Maya's going to study a Bachelor of Arts at Dalhousie University. She's receiving an entrance scholarship of $750 presented by Adrian Martin, a Johnson Federa Foundation bursary of $20,000 presented by Stephanie Dean Moore, and a Catherine Norman Spavold scholarship of $1,000 presented by Corrine Knox. Emily, Emily McLean, Honours, French Immersion. <laughs> Emily's going to St. FX in the Bachelor of Science Climate Program. She's receiving an Atlantic Poly Liners Bursary of $250 presented by Donnie Guthrow. <laughs> Emily McClellan. Emily's going to the Jane Norman College to become an early childhood educator. She's receiving a personal achievement award of $100, presented by Margaret Mayer, and a Serenity Lodge bursary of $100, presented by Stephanie Dean Moore. <laughs> Jacob McNeil. <laughs> Jacob's going to continue to run his own media company. Rose McPhee, French Immersion. Rose is headed to Memorial University in the Bachelor of Science program. She's receiving a Scotia Plastics Bursary of $500 presented by Stephanie Dean Moore and a Shuby Elmsdale Enfield Legion Bursary of $1,500 presented by Comrade Jed Hare.
Jake McCray. <laughs> Honors. Jake's going to Acadia University in the Business Administration program. <laughs> Owen McCray. <laughs> Owen's going to St. Mary's University in the Bachelor of Science Biochemistry program. <laughs> True McCray. Drew's going to go to St. Effects to do a Bachelor of Science in Nursing, and she's receiving an entrance scholarship of $5,000, presented by Lucas Middleton. <laughs> Cassandra Maddox. <laughs> Cassandra's going to go to the Hair Design Center and become a makeup artist. <laughs> Owen Manuel. Owen's going to NSCC to become a heavy-duty mechanic. Jordan Marshall. Jordan's going to join the workforce. Anna Martin. Anna's going to NSCC in the Medical Laboratory Technology Program. She is receiving a fully funded Aptech Award, so it will cover the entire cost of her program at NSCC. <laughs> Cody Matthews. <laughs> Cody's going to study mechanics at NSCC. Connor McKay. <laughs> Connor's going to go to NSCC in the criminal justice program. He's receiving the Lila Cooper Memorial Elmsdale Landscaping Award of $200 presented by Bruce Fisher. <laughs> Ryan McKenna. Ryan's going to study IT web development at NSCC. <laughs> Dryden Merritt. <laughs> Dryden's going to NSCC in the Mechanical Engineering Technology Program. Rose Michael. Rose is going to the Police Academy at Holland College, and she's receiving a Sabag and Agony Achievement Award of $500, presented by Chief Michael Sack. <laughs> Luke Laurier Michaud. <laughs> Luke is still making plans for next year. Jamie Miles, Honors, French Immersion. <laughs> Jamie's going to NSCC to become a survey technician. <laughs> Ireland Miller, Honors with Distinction, French Immersion. Ireland's going to study biology at Acadia University. She's receiving a resident scholarship of $6,500, presented by Danielle Poirier, and an HERH student council bursary of $100, presented by Rachel DeVries. <laughs> Larissa Molnar, honors. Larissa is going to NSCC to study digital animation. She's receiving the Nine Mile River Community Center Bursary of $100, presented by Leonard Noble, and the Women's Institute of Upper Nine Mile River Bursary of $100, presented by Adrian Martin. <laughs> Michaela Morgan, honors with distinction.
Michaela will be attending Dalhousie University and the Bachelor of Science program. Sean Morrison, honors with distinction. Sean is receiving, is going to Acadia University in the Bachelor of Science Biology program. He's receiving an entrance scholarship of $4,500 from Danielle Poirier. Kevin Munn. Kevin's another student who's liked it here so much, he's going to come back. <laughs> Taylor Musgrave. <laughs> Taylor's going to join the workforce. <laughs> Kaylin Nemus, honors with distinction. Kaylin's going to go to Dalhousie University to study kinesiology. She's receiving the John Bennery Memorial Bursary from Basin Contracting of $1,000 presented by Stephanie Dean Moore. <laughs> Kyle Nicholson. <laughs> Kyle's going to NSCC in the automotive program. Jaden Nixon. Jaden's going to join the workforce. Owen Noble. Owen's going to study carpentry at NSCC. Kelsey Oak. Kelsey's joining the workforce. <laughs> Dylan Oakley, honors. <laughs> Dylan's off to Acadia University to study kinesiology, and he's receiving an entrance scholarship of $6,500, presented by Danielle Poirier. <laughs> Sarah Oikel, honors with distinction. Sarah's going to study radiological technology at Dalhousie University. She's receiving the Grace Bethel Bursary of $2,000 from Beverly Hay. Hale, I'm sorry, and an entrance scholarship of $2,000 presented by Stephanie Dean Moore. <laughs> Abigail Parker. <laughs> Abigail's going to Mount St. Vincent University in the Bachelor of Science program, and she's receiving a $16,000 entrance scholarship presented by Abby McLeod. <laughs> Gaia Pasqualetti. <laughs> Honors with distinction. She's going to finish her education in Italy. <laughs> Noah Patey. Honors. Noah is going into the Interdisciplinary Arts Program at the Nova Scotia College of Art and Design. <laughs> Kiara Pau, honors with distinction. <laughs> Kiara is going to the Polytechnique University in Engineering. Sierra Paul. <laughs> Sierra is going to study culinary arts at Holland College. She's receiving a Sabaganagity Achievement Award of $500 presented by Chief Michael Sack and a Lavinia Michaels Memorial Bursary of $500 presented by Virginia Peter Paul. Abigail Pelly, honors with distinction. <laughs> Abby's going to go to St. Francis Xavier University in nursing. She's receiving a merit scholarship of $12,000 presented by Lucas Middleton. <laughs> Lauren.
Randy Penny, honors with distinction. Randy's going to go to Carleton University to study a Bachelor of Cognitive Science. She's receiving an entrance scholarship of $8,000 presented by Craig Sherry. A top student entering program bursary of $1,000 presented by Trevor Camo. Bud Davies Memorial Bursary of $1,200 presented by Andrea Davies. And an HERH Student Council Bursary of $200 presented by Rachel DeVries. Denison Percy, honors. <laughs> Dennis is going to study IT web programming at NSCC. <laughs> Yasmin Perez. Yasmin's going to go to Dalhousie in the Bachelor of Arts and Social Sciences program. She's receiving an Entrance Award and Leadership Award of $1,750, presented by Donnie Guthrow. <laughs> Jessica Pertus, honors with distinction, French immersion. <laughs> Jessica's heading to Acadia in the Bachelor of Science program. She's receiving an entrance scholarship worth $10,000, presented by Danielle Poirier. And a 2019 Maurice Weinberg Memorial Scholarship by Pratt & Whitney, which will cover her full scholarship for the full four years of the program, presented by Trevor Kamal. Monique Peter Paul. <laughs> Monique's going to study a Bachelor of Arts at Cape Breton University. She's receiving a Geraldine Maloney Award of $500, presented by Sean Maloney, and the Sabag and Agaty Achievement Award of $500, presented by Chief Michael Sack. <laughs> Adrian Peek. Adrian's going to go to NSCC in the Social Services Program. <laughs> Olivia Pinio. <laughs> Olivia is going to become a primary care paramedic through the Medivy Health Education Program, and she's receiving Camp Courage Paramedic Bursary of $500 presented by Craig Sherry. Brianna Porter, honors. <laughs> Brianna hasn't made plans. <laughs> Braden Randall, honors with distinction. <laughs> Braden's going to study IT systems management at NCC. Corey Rideout. <laughs> Corey hasn't shared his plans with us yet. <laughs> Vanessa Rose, honors with distinction, French immersion. Vanessa is going to participate in the Bachelor of Science program at St. Mary's University. She is receiving an entrance scholarship worth $8,000 presented by Tala Shams and an East Hands Progressive Conservative Bursary of $250 presented by Amy Jo Camo. <laughs> Aiden Zachary. Aiden's going to study sociology at the University of New Brunswick. <laughs> Gareth Sanford McPhee. <laughs> Gareth's heading to St. FX for political science, and he's receiving a Shaw Group bursary of $500, presented by Donnie Guthrow. <laughs> Evan.
Evan Soller, honors. Luke Schofield, honors. Luke's going to study IT systems management at NSCC. Anthony Skolan. Anthony's going to join the workforce. Hillary Sens. <laughs> Hillary's going to Acadia University to study kinesiology, and she's receiving an entrance scholarship of $6,500 presented by Danielle Poirier. <laughs> Chantel Seymour. Chantel's going to study business administration at NSCC. Benjamin Shields. Ben's going to St. Mary's University in the Bachelor of Science program. He's receiving an entrance scholarship of $4,000 presented by Tala Shams and a Wilson Fuel scholarship of $3,000 presented by Matt Cohen. Sarah Snow, French Immersion. Sarah's going to become a dental assistant through NSCC, and she's receiving an Elmwood Child Care Bursary of $150 presented by Marilyn Jamison. Zachary Spicer. Zach is joining the workforce. <laughs> Mitchell St. Croix, honors. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Mitchell's going to become an automotive service technician at NSCC. <laughs> Haley Stillman, honors. Haley's going to the Hair Design Center for Cosmetology. Caitlin Strickland, honors. Caitlin's going to be studying sociology at Mount Allison University, and she's receiving an entrance scholarship of $2,000, presented by Donnie Guthrow. Devin Thomas. Devin's going to Eastern College to study criminology. Mackenzie Thompson, honors. Mackenzie's going to study kinesiology at Acadia University, and she's receiving an entrance scholarship of $4,500, presented by Danielle Poirier. Megan Tebow. <laughs> Megan is also going to study kinesiology at Acadia University. She's receiving a Montgomery Branch 133 Poppy Trust Fund Bursary of $500 presented by Comrade Jed Hare. <laughs> Jacqueline Todd, honors with distinction. Jacqueline will be studying nursing at Dalhousie University. She's receiving a memorial bursary of $1,000 presented by Rachel DeVries. <laughs> Emily Trainer, French Immersion. <laughs> Emily's going to study biology at Acadia University. She's receiving a residence scholarship of $4,500 presented by Danielle Poirier. Madeline Valcourt. <laughs> Madeline's going to Acadia University to study Bachelor of Science in Nutrition. 
Uh, she's receiving an entrance scholarship of $4,500 presented by Daniel Poirier. <laughs> Noah Vallis, honors with distinction. Noah plans to complete a Bachelor of Science in Physics at Acadia University, and he will be receiving an entrance scholarship of $10,000 presented by Danielle Poirier. <laughs> Benjamin Werner, honors. <laughs> Ben's going to become an industrial mechanic at NSCC. Chelsea Wadden. <laughs> Chelsea's going to St. Mary's University to study chemistry. She is receiving an entrance scholarship of $8,000 presented by Tala Shams. <laughs> Jolie Wallace, honors French immersion. Jolie is going to study biology at Acadia University. She's receiving an E.H. Horn School bursary of $500 presented by Amy Jo Camo, a Montgomery Branch 133 Poppy Trust Fund bursary of $500 presented by Comrade Jed Hare, Scott McDougal Spirit Award of $500 presented by Jack and Sheila McDougal, and finally, an entrance scholarship worth $23,500 presented by Danielle Poirier. Samantha Wallage. <laughs> Sam is going to become a primary care paramedic through Meta V Health Education. <laughs> Daniel Walters. <laughs> Daniel's going to become a forestry and landscape technician at NSCC. Connor Wombach. <laughs> Connor's going to NSCC in the Mechanical Engineering Technology Program. <laughs> Jenna Ward, honors. <laughs> Jenna's going to study dental assisting at NSCC. Jennifer Wareham, honors with distinction. <laughs> Jennifer's heading to Bishop's University in the Bachelor of Arts program. She's receiving a Carruthers, McDonnell, and Robson Law Bursary of $250, presented by Trevor Camo, and a Montgomery Branch 133 Poppy Trust Fund Bursary of $500, presented by Comrade Jed Hare. James Welton. James is heading to Sonera for acting for voice and camera. Dylan White, honors. Dylan will be studying plumbing at NSCC. <laughs> Jacob White, honors with distinction. <laughs> Jacob's going to study mathematics at St. Mary's University. He's receiving the Heather Ferguson Entrance Scholarship of $500 presented by Tala Shams a St. Mary Science Fair Award of $2,000 presented by Tala Shams, an entrance scholarship of $8,000 also presented by Tala Shams, an E.H. Horn School Bursary of $500 presented by Leah Forrester, Fraser A. Bain Memorial Bursary of $1,000 presented by Stephanie Dean Moore, a National Gypsum Bursary of $200 presented by Lexi Yerling, and a Briar Publications Bursary of $250 presented by Bruce Fisher. James White. <laughs> J 
James is going to be pursuing a Bachelor of Science in Medical Sciences at Dalhousie University. He's receiving the Francis Hugh Bell Scholarship of $4,000 presented by Stephanie Dean Moore. Montgomery Branch 133 Poppy Trust Fund Bursary of $500 presented by Comrade Jed Hare. An entrance scholarship worth $12,000 presented by Kareen Knox. Jasmine Williams, honors with distinction. <laughs> Jasmine's going to go to the New Brunswick College of Craft and Design in the Foundation Visual Arts Program. She's receiving a post-secondary student support program award, which means, in fact, her program will be fully funded. And that's presented by Adrian Martin. A national gypsum bursary of $200 presented by Sherry Kroll and a Wilhelmina and Jan Herman Yerlink Senior Memorial Bursary of $600 presented by Lexi Yerlink. Blake Wilson. Blake's going to the NSCC Institute of Technology campus to become an industrial mechanic. Keegan Wright. <laughs> Keegan's heading to Jamestown University in physical education. He's receiving an international entrance scholarship of $8,000 presented by Chris Stockdale, a journey award of $8,000 presented by Rachel DeVries, and a night award totaling $24,000 presented by Bruce Fisher. Neil Yasin G. <laughs> Honors with distinction. <laughs> Neil will be studying engineering at the University of British Columbia. <laughs> Jacob Yeomans. <laughs> Honors. Jacob is studying engineering at Dalhousie University. And we have an international student award presented to Proikia Tema. Kia will be studying creative technology at the University of Twente. <laughs> Graduating in absentia, Tarek Alzubi, Ling Tang, and Harrison Hain. You will have noticed a lot of awards, and every year people ask what the total is. It's actually hard to give you a total this year because um, renewable scholarships we calculate based on the first year, and there were three students who received fully funded programs, but we don't know what the value of those are. But based on what we do know, our students earned themselves $492,425. <laughs> pretty impressive group and every year when we do this I learn about careers I did not know existed and today was no exception so congratulations to all of you <laughs> I'd like to call on Trudy Eisner to introduce our class valedictorian <laughs> good afternoon 
Sometimes the grad class valedictorian is one of the students some of us might least expect. I got to know this year's valedictorian, Kyle Dixon, in English class. He was fairly quiet during numerous periods of serious discussion about issues from our text, A Thousand Splendid Sons, <laughs> yep, and, and Macbeth. However, he often stayed after class to talk about his ideas and thoughts, and I enjoyed those chats. So when I assigned one of the final assessments, the motivational speech, I might have guessed that he would be a somewhat reluctant public speaker. But based on past experiences, he was the first student that the rest of the class couldn't wait to hear from. And I thought, really? But he was so quiet. He delivered a speech, thoroughly entertaining and motivating the class. So I filed this newfound information away for the spring when I thought, he might need a nudge to apply to be valedictorian. And he did need a nudge, but the rest was all him, and here we are. Kyle is a great student in our school and a wonderful young man. He does well academically, which will serve him as he heads off to Acadia next year to study engineering, looking toward a future career in robotics. He is a warrant officer second class in air cadets, excuse me, and is a glider pilot. We'll miss him next year, but we're confident that he will be a tiger we can be proud of. Please join me in welcoming to the stage Mr. Kyle Dixon. Good afternoon, everybody, especially to Mr. Smith, our distinguished guests, teachers, parents, and I would say most importantly, class of 2019. Uh, to the grads, I'd like to say uh, you made the right choice. When I told you to vote and pay with your vote, uh, you did well. So thank you for your purchase. You are now entitled to the full ad-free version of my speech. <laughs> so some people, maybe parents or grandparents, will tell you that uh, high school is the best time of your life, and you should probably savor it while it lasts. I hope you've had your fill, because it's almost over. <laughs> it's hard to believe that we've spent 13 years doing this whole like school thing. And four years ago, when we were grade nines, I remember feeling really much the same as I do now. Scared, excited, anxious. Uh, I was shaking then, and I'm shaking now. So indulge my nostalgia, and let's all, everybody in the audience, let's think back to the ninth grade. Maybe that's a more distant memory for some than others, but let's just all go back for a second. Some of you may have expected this, maybe some of you didn't. So, the ninth grade, my perspective has changed, and everything probably isn't as I remember it. But back then, I was close to, like, down here. <laughs> uh, I've grown. We've grown. We're almost adults, and we're almost into the real world at this point. And that's wild. Right? How many of us are just beyond scared for next year? Yeah? Yeah, a lot of us? Yeah? Me too, yeah. Uh, maybe I'll see some of you at Acadia, who knows. But we're almost into the real world, and this is where the training wheels kind of come off. There's going to be no punches pulled, no holds barred. And this is where we're really on our own to make our own path forward and to make our own decisions. Whether that's a, a good thing or not remains to be seen. So here's the part where I give you the life advice or pep talk. I promised it would happen. Um, told you guys it would be a little bit sappy. As I said before, uh, this may not be useful, but it sure does sound good. That's my disclaimer. Uh, don't use this advice in a court of law. It will get you absolutely nowhere. So we're young. Most of us are between 17 or 18, maybe a few outliers. There's a lot that we know, there's more that we think that we know, and there's even more than that that we have 
no idea about. We're going to experience a bunch of new things in the years coming. Some of us are leaving home for the first time. Some of us are getting our first job. No matter what we're doing, we all have big, life-changing decisions to make. Don't be afraid to make a choice and realize that it's not what you want or want to do. That said, realize that you have the option to wait before you make a choice. Because making a choice just for the sake of one won't be in your best interest in the long run. We have our entire lives to figure out what's for us and what isn't. Don't be afraid to make mistakes and figure out, nope. Don't be afraid to make mistakes along the way as any experience, good or bad, can still teach you something. So go out and have an adventure and live without regrets. In that same vein, some folks in here have a grand plan for their future and how they want their life to turn out. You know, I applaud you, that's really admirable. And I wholeheartedly think, hope that things do go to plan. But be prepared for life to throw you some curveballs when you least expect them. There are things that, as people, we will never be able to plan for. Sometimes, you have to play the cards you're dealt in the face of the unexpected. You'll have to make the best with what you have and push through whatever life throws at you. That isn't to say that you shouldn't plan your goals and chase your dreams, not at all. But be prepared to work hard and deal with setbacks as they come. Be diligent and relentless, and your efforts will be succeeded, and you will be rewarded. Before we all leave here today, I'd like to congratulate all of us. We've done really well, and I think we're all going to do great things. Um, you know, half a million dollars speaks to something at least. I wish you all the best of luck in the future. To anyone who's going to save grad, have an awesome time. Unfortunately, I won't be there. Thank you for your time, everybody. Have a great afternoon. Thank you so much, Kyle. Uh, I tried to cast my mind back to grade nine. I don't want to. <laughs> Next, we have a musical performance by Ariana Burden. Hi, everybody. Uh, I'm going to sing Grow Young by Bryn Cartelli. She's from The Voice. I hope you guys enjoy. I love you! <laughs> I love you too, Christy. <laughs> oh, you can't hear this at all, can you? Help? Uh, I can just sing it. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to stand up if I'm going to do that. Okay. Adjusting. That, oh, I knocked off my corsage, too. Before you know it, you play your last home game and you throw your cap in the sky. Before you know it, you'll be packing your bags to leave your small town behind. But I've got all this wrong, baby. Cause all of this is happening to me. Wish I could go back, have fun, and grow young. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't see the rush of growing old. At what point in time does a heart go cold? My youthful, sharp body can't be done. Oh, babe, I just want to grow young. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, babe, I just want to grow young. Do you remember? The way we laughed till we cried, or how we danced like no one could see. Do you remember sneaking out in the night, being whoever we wanted to be? Oh, I wish we could go back, 
have fun and grow young. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't see the rush of growing old. At what point in time does a heart go cold? My youth was short, but it can't be done. Oh, babe, I just want to grow young. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, babe, I just want to grow young. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Before you know it, you'll be responsible for paying taxes and paying attention to the TV. Before you know it, you'll be old and you'll be gray and you'll want to be a stupid teen. You wish you could go back, have fun. Go back, baby, go back and grow young. Whoa, whoa. I wish we could go back, have fun, and grow young. Thank you for singing so beautifully, Ariana, and for demonstrating grace under pressure and adaptability when the technology fails. Two more awards. First one up is the presentation of the Queen Elizabeth II Medal presented by Principal Mike Smith. The Queen Elizabeth Two medal is awarded to the graduating student who has demonstrated superior achievement in school studies in all three years of high school, has achieved an outstanding record in all aspects of school and community involvement, and is graduating having satisfied the requirements of the Nova Scotia High School graduation diploma. This year's recipient is Vanessa Rose. to present the Governor General's Medal, Gary Adams. The Governor General's Medal is awarded to a graduating student who has achieved the highest academic average based on their final marks in grade 11 and 12. This year's recipient is Jackie Jessica Purtis.
Graduates, as we come to the end of today's ceremony, may you be thankful for the support of family, friends, teachers, coaches, and mentors as you leave HERH on different paths to different experiences and different destinations. May you be guided by the desire to use all that you are and all that you've learned to make the world a better place. On behalf of everyone, I'd like to thank all of the staff who've worked so hard to make this a wonderful celebration of our graduating class. At 8.30 tonight, several staff and many of our graduates will participate in Safe Grad at the Lance Sportsplex. A big thank you to everyone who volunteers for this fantastic event. There will be a reception held in the cafeteria immediately following the recessional. Graduates are reminded to head directly to the cafeteria when they leave the AV room. Please stand for the playing of God Save the Queen and remain standing as the graduates exit during the processional. Recessional.